What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Gmod's World. And what we're going to be talking about right now is my final game before we go into this pre this whole new patch. And it, it, it's kind of wild. And I know that you guys, a lot of you guys that really were enjoying the um, the ridiculous juke moves and uh, all the kind of spins where you spun into another dimension and was in the end zone, I understand your frustration. And I understand that a lot of you guys are like, yo, Gmod, what the F? And I understand that uh, the people at EA Sports think that they're doing the right thing with these patches based on the feedback that they're getting. Um, the, the, the bottom line about it is this, man. I'm going to still be running with Mike Vick until further notice. I will tell you this, though. I wouldn't blame you guys if you went to a Bo Jackson. And that's pretty much what I really, really, really made this video for. I, You know, yeah, Mike Vick, we got an RIP him, bro. He's done. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still keeping him because I know how to actually utilize him the right way with the new patch. You just got to be closer. All you have to do is be closer. The... um. The QB, Mike Vick, is still glitchy on the run. All that stuff is still the same. You just have to be closer. They no, Did he catch that? They no longer allow you to be juking somebody from 35 feet away. That's pretty much all that it is, all right? But I wanted to let my viewers know, if you wanted to go to a stronger uh, running back with, with uh, what, what is, what, what, what's that right there? What is that? Possession catch? Who did that? Um, if you want to go to something like that to where uh, your player is a lot stronger and you can also now truck, the Bo Jackson is is really really good for that because I went like I said I I already experienced everything that I need to experience through Madden and I just try to pick up on what the actual patch is realistically doing to the game not what they write in the patch notes guys don't ever go by what the patch notes are saying because most of it doesn't make any sense you have to just look at the real criteria the meat and potatoes of the patch notes and what it is is they've nerfed what what is this? What's this? Oh, okay, so my guy just stopped. My guy just yo, I don't even know what that was. I just thought I bro, that was a straight Stevie. Um, the focus of the patch is primarily about the juke moves. That's what it's about. Minimizing it, stopping guys from doing ridiculous things and just spinning for no reason and anything is going on. That's what it's about, right? If you read further down through it, I just want to make sure again and, and verify the fact that you still get the same animations when going for a pick. Your guy, it's kind of weird, but it seems like the modes that they're patching, they're not patching competitive mode. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like, if you play Sim or Arcade, the patches appear to work better in those modes than it does in competitive mode, which doesn't make sense because that's the mode that they do all their tournaments in, and that's where it should be more prevalent. You understand what I'm saying? Like, they, they, they're doing these things. It should be to where you have full control in competitive mode it's that's what it should be but what's happening is it's going into every other mode because I, I i tried this out yesterday right look what i did i gave you guys a video explaining to you what was going on with the patch notes everything like that then i went from arcade mode to competitive mode to simulation mode and you know what i found the rat catch animation works in every mode other than competitive mode and what i mean by the rat catch is when you got someone beat deep which is very very rarely when you hold the rack button they actually stay running after catch. Like, they don't try to jump in the air like this. They're a superhero, and they turn it into a whole... They just run straight. But competitive mode, everything is broken. That You see, this that's the primary thing that I have an issue with. Because it's not like they don't know what the actual problems are within the game. Now that they have three different modes, which was like... I, I gave them credit for that. That's actually genius. But the way that they have designated how they use the modes doesn't make sense. Because all the garbage that goes on in a fluke and stupidness like that should be in arcade mode. Sim should just be Sim, you know, where the attributes really, really matter. They make it mandatory probably to punt on, on fourth down, stuff like that. that. That's what should be going on with Sim. And then competitive mode should be whatever, but it should be more user-based. But that's not what's going on. What's going on is you're running into a bunch of guys that are doing whatever they want in competitive mode. And when I say whatever they want... I mean, they're throwing it right at you, and you can't do anything. And then EA is saying, yeah, Madden is competitive the year of the user. See, the, oh, 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 okay, I thought about a fumble right there. But that's what the the biggest problem is. So all in all, all those jukes and everything that you saw me doing before, am I going to still be able to do it? Absolutely. And I have gameplay already of me showing showing that I know how to do it still with the patch, but that's not what gonna, that's not what's going to be the focus anymore. I have to continue to play through it and see what's happening. But keep in mind, this is like, what, the fourth patch? Like, why? It, it, it kind of baffles me that...
they do more patches. EA does more patches in a year than GTA 5 has done for however long it's been out on all the consoles. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, what, what, what exactly is going on right now? But let's not, even, let's not even worry about all that. Let's try to figure out what's coming next. Because what happens is a lot of us stay in the moment and we're like, yeah, this is the last one. No, it's not. No, it's not, bro. So we're going to have to enjoy this for a little bit. The one thing I can tell you is this is probably going to be the same because they have that Madden Ultimate competitive tournament coming at the end of January. So they're going to probably leave this patch for this month. But what's going to happen after that, when all the competitive stuff is done, that's when they're going to start doing real freaky stuff because they're going to start experimenting for Madden 19. You see what I'm saying? Because we all know that the things that are going on in this game is completely and utterly ridiculous. They know also, but they can't really do much to it because everything that's already been formatted into the game has been formatted. They, they, can, they can tune sliders. They can do all that stuff like that. But they can't do nothing to the actual mechanics of the game. And that's the problem. The problem is you're going to be dealing with the fact that your guy stretches his arm out every play if you go for a pick and takes himself completely out of the play. And EA can't do anything about it. So it doesn't matter how much you rant and rave and go wild on Twitter. They can't fix that. They can adjust fumbles. They can do stuff like, you know, minimize spin moves and stuff. You know, those things are all in the sliders. But as far as the – like, you're going to be getting the ball thrown through your body for the entire year. So if you think that that's going to stop, stop being stupid. I already told you guys that. Don't waste your hope on EA Sports or anything to do with Madden. You focus on real things that matter, children's cancer, whatever, men's cancer, whatever, so, something that has more relevance. Don't waste hope on video games because it doesn't make any sense. This is just a something, you know, a lot of us use it as a, a, a means to get away from the real world. It is what it is. All we can do is just try to put as much input into what goes into the game. And then we, we have to see if the people at the higher, the higher places can make better decisions with the people that they hire. Other than that, you can't really do anything. And at this point, especially with Madden, you, they're making so much money, it doesn't even matter. So you guys can say whatever you want. The formula of what this is already works. And we're going for six right here. So what I mean by that is a lot of the things that are actually happening within the game, my viewers, I try to urge you guys, don't pay attention to it too much. Rage a little bit. I think I broke my TV, though, uh, because it starts to do wild things after I smash it after a Madden game. But I don't want you guys to do the same things. And I, uh, my, my remote, I refuse to buy another one, but I think the whole left side of my PS4 remote is completely damaged because I smashed it on the side when a guy ran the ball when I was all stacked in the middle. He ran it to win the game, like to get in the field goal range. He trucked 19 guys and just got in the field goal range. I couldn't deal with it. But I don't want you guys to also do the same things. So what we're trying to do is like, it's sort of like that anger management movie with Adam Sandler. We, uh, we're trying to mi minimize our rage because the game is very, very rage-inducing. And now that they've taken something that was fu actually fun, it's sort of like taking the swerve out of it. You see what I'm saying? Like, swerve was actually fun. A lot of dudes couldn't stop it, so they were very, very upset about it, but it was actually fun. It made me want to play the game when the game was total garbage, because Madden 17 was total trash, but it made me want to play it. Um, the spin moves and the ridiculous garbage that was going on made me want to play this. Now, I don't know what I want to do, because you can't really do... A lot of bums are going to come out running the same stock coverages and stuff like that, and then... What's going to happen now is they don't really have to worry about it. Even with like the unfakeable and all that stuff like that, it kind of nullifies the unfakeable chemistries. That's what I don't understand. They create all these chemistries and everything like that to counteract stuff that's going, oh, oh yeah, I'm going to miss that spin move. And stuff, they, they try to counteract the things that they're doing and then they patch it and minimize it through a patch. So why should anybody spend money for other cards that minimize what you already minimized through a patch? If you, you see, God, this is what I'm saying. So you don't need to get these other cards. You don't need to be buying packs and stuff like that. If they're going to keep doing that and you don't need to have the cards that counteract it, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, it really, it's really, really ridiculous the way that they're going about doing what they're doing. And, um, again, if I, if I feel that there's something wrong with it, I'm going to address it. Because if I don't address it, you guys are going to say, yo, Jimai, what the F? And I don't want – see, the thing about it is the reason, be, the reason why people – choose to listen to some of the things that I say. And when I say some, I have people that listen to all of it because they understand that I'm not trying to take your, you know, oh, don't play the game. I will never stop any of you guys from playing the game because I want you guys to have the same rage that I have, bro. 
I want to share this rage action. Why would I want all this rage for myself? But I will tell you specific things that just don't make sense. And that's what most of you guys will come around to. I'll have guys that come here. Yo, bro, all you do is complain. A couple a couple videos in. Oh, yo, that makes sense, bro. I'm subscribed. Yo, yo, you the man. That's why I don't really pay attention to a lot of the guys that come through. Because you have before you make a judgment, you have to assess the entire situation. There has to be a reason why I'm so angry and why most streamers are so angry while playing Madden. It's not just me. The only thing that's different is I'm not going to rage on Twitter and be an internet thug. I'm going to let you guys know, and when I have the developers come into my stream and I talk to them, I'm going to speak to them like men while letting them know that the game is garbage. But I'm not going to disrespect them and do all the other extra stuff. That doesn't make any sense. But that's what it's all about. All right, Pete, to the real, real spin move. And now we move forward with the actual patch. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.